to pitch a deck, I will be your host for this video. These experiences are the sum of a lot of research in the field of video game corruptions. Pitch Attack is a board game engine. It's a mod for a mod for an emulator called Pisshawk. First, if you haven't gotten one already, you will need a data card pack. These are packs of community-made images that contain some magic code that gets executed inside the emulator. You will also need to provide a game ROM to Glitch Attack. This doesn't contain any assets. It is completely generic. So make sure you've got your things set up before inviting your friends. Glitch Attack is a board game in which you move on a board. Each tile of the board has a moment from the game assigned to it, in which you will need to complete challenges in order to gain points and stay alive. During board move, the current player has to roll the dice. His location will move on the board dramatically. Next, it's time for everyone to make their stipulations. Those who aren't playing are playing cards and are betting stars that the player will not complete the challenge. Depending on the board pack you're playing with, in-game death can mean that you lose the challenge. Certain challenges may have alternate win conditions and certain card combos might break the game. If the cards broke the game or made it impossible for the player to complete the challenge, they can forfeit the realm by clicking on the timer. If you're playing a single player, you can choose to disable the board move part of the game. This mode is called Quick Endless and is a faster way to play the game offline. If you want an even faster experience, try Ultra Lightning. You no longer get to choose the cards, they get drawn randomly. Want to give that power to an online audience? Try Versus Chat. You can connect the game to a Twitch channel chat and let the viewers decide which cards get played. Could you expand on the floppy thing, Phil?